Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome to The Correct Views. I've done a couple of these videos I think, where we don't need the distraction of fact cam because what we need are facts, just facts. So welcome to The Correct Views, and uh, we're going to get into some of those facts right now. Um, one of them is something I want to talk about in a way that other hosts have not done. And I think the reason for that is the reason you hit share and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching the correct views. Here we go. Many of you know, you don't even need fact cam. You guys know by now that China is banning what they consider to be effeminate men. Now, before I begin talking about this, let me be very clear on a couple of things. I'm not in favor of banning anything. First of all, whatever you try to ban normally ends up even bigger and more successful than it was uh, had you not tried to ban it. Ask Marilyn Manson. Ask Elvis Presley. It doesn't work. Um, the PMRC turned, uh, remember they turned the band Wasp from an underground heavy metal act to a world-renowned <clears throat> um, so I'm not saying they weren't good I'm saying that once they shed light on them, they, they were their own marketing team. It didn't ban them at all. So I'm not in favor of banning anything. Let me also say I'm not in favor of harming anybody or stopping anybody from living their lives free of violence, threats, ridicule. I don't think anybody's life should be made a living hell based on who they want to sleep with. Let me make that very clear. And no point Am I in favor of any of that? If a man wants to love another man, then he needs to be left alone. If he's not bothering anybody else, as does everybody who associates with him in every way, shape, matter, or form. Same for women. Now, let's get to the nuts and bolts of this. China is letting America know something which America needs to hear. It's not the same of siding with the communist Chinese. They're filthy people. The leadership, not the people. They're filthy. But they're alerting America to something. That is that the rest of the world is terrified to become like America. It used to be, not that long ago, as a matter of fact, America inspired hope in the world. The world wanted to be like America. In America, you could do anything. You wanted to come to America and be American. Now, that's not so much the case. And do you want to know why? One of, one of the reasons that is, as it pertains to the topic that we started with, put it that way. The feminization of America, particularly American men, is a fiasco that has nothing to do with ensuring the rights, which I talked about at the start of this, and everything imaginable to do with causing division and causing fights amongst people. Which, of course, the Hegelian dialectics, so then that they are handlers, if you will, the government creates the problem. Then it says that they're going to come in and fix the problem, and we beg for them to do it. Please help us, please help us, so in they come. And you lose rights, and they gain control. We, we've seen it done, we know what it is. Why would China want this in their country? But this doesn't mean I like communism. I'm asking a simple question. Why? Do, does the feminization of men make the country better? No! Let's be real. It has destroyed the culture. I got, Sam is so close-minded. My God, get, get out of here with that. My favorite singer is Rob Halford. He might be a bit gay. Problem is this. 
And this is going to make some people angry, and I don't really care, because it's true. It's a correct view, that's why you tune in. Homosexuality may be normal for some people. Again, other people, and my, Milo Yiannopoulos has spoken on this in depth a lot of times. There's a very large percentage of gay people who are made gay due to some form of trauma and or an overbearing mother. Other things can lead to it as well. However, yes, some people are born gay. That, that may, may, no, 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 I made every conservative angry. But it is what it is. Correct views. We hurt feelings sometimes, but we're kind. There is a natural order of things. Some people look at me and they say, look, he's a fat so with stringy hair. Yuck. That's their natural response. So what? So what? Why would the way I look have to be acceptable to everyone? Make any sense, but we do this with homosexuality because it's being used. Here's another fact a lot of people simply don't want to hear, but it's true. There is a natural factor when a man sees a man romantic with another guy. Sorry. Now, do I think that when you get that ugh, feeling that you should ridicule a gay person, hurt a gay person, slander them, beat them up, hurt their car, damage their house. No! As a matter of fact, you should walk by and wish them a nice day. Say, God bless you. They're a fellow American. They're a fellow human being. Family of man. Fellow Christians, quit beating gay people over the head. That's not how Christ won anyone. However, to call it normal for everyone. Is it just another normal way of living? No, it's not. It is not. It's not normal that I'm a little overweight. It's not normal. And if a society was to ever become majority homosexual, the American society would fall. And so would any other society. That doesn't mean that someone who doesn't have the, and by normal, I mean the natural order of things, nature. It doesn't mean that they need to be treated differently, but it does mean that society should not be pushing and promoting homosexuality. And I don't mean holding homosexuals back. I think Ralph Halford is one of the, again, who would hold back a man with such an astounding voice? You'd have to be an idiot. I don't care who he's sleeping with. Doesn't matter to me. But we have gone from that to an age where we'll take someone and promote them because they are gay. That's a mistake. It's a mistake. If you hear people say, Follow the science. Follow the science. Well, the science says that you are born male and female. Now, it may be normal for you to feel non-binary, to feel a different gender than you are, to feel like a squid. That's fine. That is normal for you, but that is not normal. And that doesn't mean that you need to be harmed, but it does mean that when you look at what has been brought here by the homosexual agenda, which goes above and beyond equal rights, I think it's pretty fair to say that you can see why China doesn't want this in their country. Let me know what you think.